flows. And we have a water feature at the fountain and uh, cypress trees and also uh, and fruit to refer the fruit trees and uh, cut flowers. They are uh, uh, carnations. Okay, now the third garden you see at the bottom, also they have cypress trees. So, a Turkish garden in the 16th century had to have cypress trees. So also, some uh, flower beds and also water feature. So, through the miniatures, I, uh, I tried to, uh, to see how uh, the Ottoman, early Ottoman gardens looked like. Here we have another circumcision festival. It is. It was um, Ahmed the Third organized this uh, had uh, this circumcision festival organized for the three sons. And uh, guess what? These are garden garden uh, models. But it is really very sweet, very sweet indeed. Except these men who carry the garden models, except the men, everything is made of sugar. Very sweet, I <laughs> Colored um, sweet, uh, candy. Um, but they reflect uh, the Ottoman gardens. So in each of them, I cannot move. And I don't have a point there. I forgot to ask. Um, in each of them, we have fruit trees, we have cypress trees, we have uh, flower beds, in flower beds, mostly uh, we have uh, pointed uh, tulips. Yes. What else? And fruit trees. Fruits also made of sugar. Uh, anyway, what else we have? A garden cannot be without, complete without the birds. So they also made uh, some birds and put them on top of the uh, trees. And there are also live uh, birds in the cages. Uh, you can see easily here. They are whistling. They are encouraging the birds to sing. And the boys, the three boys, love this garden so much. They beg their father because it it was um, it was a tradition to uh, to put them in pieces, take all the pieces into pieces, and uh, send uh, to high. Uh, I mean, the uh, respectful people as gifts. But the boy said, please, please, let us have this in front of us for a few days so that we can enjoy. Um, ah, by the way, before I go, you see the garden uh, evidence and pools, even, you know, we have in the with a boat in it. So they asked, they met, and uh, it stayed, but unfortunately, uh, the rain also uh, destroyed the sky. Okay. So, but these gardens, 
the discarding models give us a really very good uh, aspects of the Ottoman garden. Uh, right after the conquest of Istanbul, Mehmet II, the conqueror, uh, went to this place, which is on the on the shores of a uh, golden horn, and in there, uh, all the booties were distributed between the soldiers, and there he uh, he gave orders to have a garden. Um, made on that spot. Uh, and 12,000 cypress trees were planted. He himself uh, planted some of them. He also established a, a, a palace in Edirne and in there he, he made a big garden, beautiful big garden. We don't have any images showing that, uh, that garden. Uh, but we have uh, in the documents. So what we have all as all cypress trees, we have uh, these uh, cypress trees at the top couple when you enter to the second courtyard, uh, at the two sides of the um, uh, road, we have, uh, we still have, these are very old. Unfortunately, you know why uh, I did not uh, think of, I didn't have uh, the age uh, found of this. Uh, but uh, there are very old uh, cypress trees, especially I saw in Izmir. And uh, some studies made, and uh, we have the plaques uh, giving the age of the trees. They are incredibly old. Um, I, I had the age uh, found at, uh, for a tree which was in the courtyard of Ibrahim Pasha Palace. <coughs> but I never thought of having uh, this uh, done the same thing. Sorry. Anyway. And uh, this is a late 18th century Minish painting on your left. But we still see the uh, the cypress trees, as you can imagine, and uh, the garden pavilion is is not one single small building, but it is uh, in uh, it is a court, it's a summer court, summer palace. Now let's go back to our flowers. In uh, 1534. Uh, Suleiman the Magnificent uh, made a campaign, military campaign, to Iran and Iraq. And uh, a man called Wantrak Chimasu um, wanted to record, or maybe the, or the, uh, the Sultan uh, gave orders to do so. He uh, also uh, took part uh, of the campaign, and uh, he drew, uh, uh, he made some pictures of all the encampments of the Ottoman army, but in topographic manner. No figures, no human figures we have on these. Uh, he, 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 we see that he, is a, he was a great observer and uh, so many details are so correct. I, can, I, I made research on several things he, he drew and it's so precise, so correct, it's unbelievable. So when, uh, what he had done, he started, the campaign started in Istanbul, of course. 
and uh, he also starts his work with the Istanbul image. Uh, here at the bottom of the top, uh, we have the old Istanbul uh, presented, uh, depicted, and on the other side of the water, it is uh, the water is uh, the golden horn. Uh, we have uh, the Galata. Uh, at the top of uh, of the vault part, uh, we have the Galata Tower. Behind this Galata, it is like a garden, and uh, you you see that some detail details of that part. And this is, for instance, a cherry tree. You, you, know, you, you cannot show uh, high resolution uh, images because they don't like, they object. <laughs> uh, but to see it with the magnifying glass, in detail, uh, you look at the image, uh, uh, the origin, oh, it's so, so beautiful. <laughs> 